Welcome to the user guide for the auto forward for Telegram application. Today, I'm going to show you how to add link buttons to your messages in Telegram. This unique feature lets you insert interactive action buttons into messages, something you normally can't do. This special feature lets you embed interactive buttons directly in your messages, enabling recipients to navigate instantly and take action with just one tap. All right, let's jump right in. First, open the auto post task you've already set up. Scroll down in the features section until you find link buttons, then click on it. Here at the top, you'll see the message preview. It shows how your message will look once the buttons are added. This makes it easier to fine tune the layout, especially if you have many buttons. You can also adjust the button arrangement in the button layout section. In this example, I'll choose the vertical linear layout to stack the buttons vertically. Now I'll click Add New Button to create a new one. Next, select Now to quickly create a button. A dialog box will appear. Enter any button title you like and the URL you want the button to open. Here, I'll set this button to navigate to the Auto Forward Messages bot. Once you've filled in all the details, click Create to add the button. Finally, click the Done button to complete the setup. Once that's done, I'll send a random message in the source chat. As you can see, the button has been added to the message in the target chat. When I click it, it instantly opens the bot I linked earlier. Let's try adding another button, this time linking to Google. And there it is, a second button added to the same message. When clicked, it will either open the link directly if it's inside Telegram, or show a pop-up asking for confirmation if it's an external site. Pretty straightforward, right? Apart from the Add Now option, you can also insert buttons from your custom library. This lets you keep a collection of your own buttons and quickly reuse them across multiple places. No need to manually re-enter the details each time. After accessing the screen, click the Create button at the bottom. Let's create one as an example. For example, I'll link this button to a user account with the username RedFox. Once it appears in the list, click on that button. Then choose Select Multiple Buttons and pick the ones you want to add. Finally, tap Done to confirm. Now click the Done button to update the changes. As you can see, all the buttons I wanted are now displayed on Telegram. You can also rearrange buttons by pressing and holding a button on the link button screen for about two seconds, then dragging it to the desired position. Here, I've moved the upgrade to VIP button to the second position. As you can see, it's instantly updated in the target chat as well. If the vertical layout feels a bit dull, you can easily switch it up by changing the button layout option. I'll switch to a grid with two columns. Now there are two buttons per row. Now, in the target chat, the buttons are displayed with exactly two per row as I configured. Next, I'll set it to three columns and the layout updates in the same way. Still feeling restricted? No problem, we've also designed a custom mode. In Button Layout, select Custom to set the exact number of buttons per row. I'll add a new row here. You can also move buttons between rows by holding them for two seconds and dragging them to the new row. Right now, I'm moving a button from row one to row two. And of course, you can add new buttons by clicking the Add New Button box. Here, I'll place a new button directly into row 2.
As you can see, everything is arranged exactly as I set it up. Now I'll add a new row, row number 3, and create a new button in row 3. Perfect! With the custom button layout feature, you can arrange buttons without following any fixed rules, organizing the button layout on each row exactly as you like. To delete a button, just click the delete icon at the end of the button. If you want to edit a button, simply click on it. A pop-up will appear, letting you change the title or URL for that specific button. And to remove an entire row, click Delete at the end of that row. In addition, there's also an option called Hide when replying, which is enabled by default. When turned on, the buttons will be hidden if the message is sent as a reply. Let me show you here. I'm sending a message as a reply in the source chat. And as you can see in the target chat, the buttons will no longer be displayed because this mode is enabled. Now I'll switch this option off. I'll continue sending messages as replies. And as you can see, the buttons now remain visible even for reply messages. You can adjust this setting however you prefer, depending on your needs. The link buttons feature is incredibly powerful. It lets you send messages with action buttons, something you can't normally do in Telegram. But with our bot, nothing is impossible. Use this feature to make it easy for your channel or group members to access different places with just a single tap. That's all I wanted to share in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more guides in the future and see you next time.